all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn how to listen for keystrokes so here's what's gonna happen a python file will be running in the background and kind of listening for any kind of key presses on the keyboard and once a key is pressed it's going to send that key to the function responsible for writing to a file which we will soon create we haven't created it yet the function will take that key and store it in the log.txt file now listening for keystrokes in python is done by a package called pyinput so let's learn about this pyinput package a little bit pyinput is a library responsible for handling input streams now input stream is basically anything using which we can give input on a computer for example a mouse and a keyboard using pyinput we can not only listen for mouse clicks or keyboard keystrokes but also control both of them so if we want our mouse to move from one position to another position on screen using python it can be done using this pyinput package so the next thing we need to do is actually install pyinput into our project and that's going to be really simple because we are using pycharm so for that we just need to go to file go to settings and then go to our project and our project name is pykey so this is our project and then go to your project interpreter and over here click on this plus sign and then you can just search for pyn and put and this is the package that we need to install as you can see it says monitor and control user input devices which is exactly what we want and then you can just click on install package which will install this py input package into your project i've already installed this package so i'm not going to install it again as you can see i've installed it over here after installing it you are ready to control your mouse and keyboard using your py input library now i'm not going to disturb this main.py keylogger file but i still want to teach you about the py input library and all of its cool functions like controlling the mouse and keyboard even though we won't be requiring that in our keylogger we'll only be requiring the part where we listen to our keyboard but because i'm teaching you how to use this library i just want to go all in and teach all of its cool functions to you so for that i'm just going to create a new file so i'm going to go to new go to python and i'm just going to type in control click on ok now there are four main things that you will be able to do after learning the py input library the first thing is controlling the mouse if you want to move your mouse from one position to another position using python code it can be very easily done using py input you will also be able to know the current position of the mouse the third thing is controlling your keyboard that is pressing a key or a series of keys on your keyboard using code pretty cool huh and the last thing that we will be learning is to listen to the keystrokes and identify which key was pressed on a keyboard we will also be using this last part in building our key logger so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to control our mouse and keyboard using py input so i'll see you over there